mortgage rates surging in the biggest one week jump since April. To discuss what you need to know if you're in the market for a new home, we've got a good friend of the show, Lawrence Yoon, National Association of Realtors, Chief Economist. Lawrence, thanks so much for taking the time here. Just help us break down your read in on this week's data that is certainly impacting the housing market and the thought process, the mindset that many potential buyers may have going to some of the different open houses or going to the signing table this week? Well, you know, first thing to note is that Federal Reserve does not control mortgage rate. It only controls Fed funds rate. So I think some of the consumers were quite surprised uh, from the time when the Federal Reserve did cut rates in mid-September to now, mortgage rates have risen because Federal Reserve does not directly control mortgage rates. It's the broader bond market. Nonetheless, mortgage rate, 6.3% average this week. This is measurably lower compared to what it was in spring. It is uh, much lower than what it was this time last year when we was bumping up against 8% mortgage rate. So improvement of almost 200 basis point in mortgage rate from one year ago. Uh, this is a great news for many consumers. Consumers can expect little bounce in mortgage rate maybe a tick downward or maybe a, another bad news uptick. Uh, but I think the 6% mortgage rate will be the new normal. And so with that being the new normal, what we've heard in the past is that we would need to see something closer to 5.5% for more supply to come into the market and, and for people who are sitting on existing homes to feel like that is a good enough rate for them to potentially get into a new home or, or take on a new mortgage elsewhere and list a home to put that on the market. So if we did see a longer run 6%, what does that spell out more largely and, and what is the time frame for prices starting to come down even further from here? Well, you know, people love their locked in 3% mortgage rate or 4% mortgage rate, which they took in a few years ago. However, when they consider they have additional child in the family and they need a larger size home, that 3% mortgage rate is not that strong anymore. Retirees who are looking to trade down from the McMansion, there's always marriages, divorces, death in the family, maybe some elder uh, where sons and daughters inherit a property uh, which they want to list it, list it and sell it. So what we are seeing in the marketplace today, despite the powerful force of the lock-in effect, with each passing month, more inventory showing up, more inventory showing up, Right now, it is up about 20% from one year ago, and I think it will continue to increase because of life-changing events that every individual faces. Uh, so it's just inevitable that inventory will rise, and with mortgage rate much better than one year ago, we are beginning to see more buyers beginning to knock on the door. Uh, it's not a big rush, but it is an increase. Aging population aside, you know, as we're kind of continuing to keep tabs on the housing data, especially the anticipation of housing data coming out next week, what should people be watching closely for to get a general sense of where they should expect more supply to come on outside of even just an aging population or on the other side, where we might see more efforts to make just home purchases more affordable? You know, it's all about trying to get more supply, Brad. You are absolutely correct. The homes became unaffordable when we were lacking supply. But as we have more supply, builders are making profits, they're ramping up construction. And interestingly, they're ramping up construction on affordable, smaller size home and not on those McMansion, which will provide more avenue for uh, people to get into the market. Uh, but overall, the life-changing events is leading to steadily more inventory. So some of the frustrated buyers of say during the spring months, maybe they wanna retest the market. There are more choices out there. Furthermore, mortgage rate is on their side. 